wanted to make this music video. And I knew that not only did I want to make a music video playing a role that I've always wanted to play, but more than that, I always dreamed of recording this song uh, in my own style and sort of um, marrying the two, you know, Ariel and me. Adam Gubman is the person behind the music. He rearranged the song for me specifically and how I like to sing it and I did a pop take on the song, which is my style as a singer. We've been friends for quite a while and we were in the sewing room and talking about dream projects and she was saying that she always wanted to do part of your world music video. And I was like, well, I just finished a video with uh, my roommate, Raya, and she is an amazing videographer, and I should hook you guys up. And the rest is history. I was very excited about the project because I'm a huge fan of Disney, and something I wanted to do, not very realistic, but I kind of wanted to tell the entire movie, plus have it be a music video at the same time. One of my goals in directing this music video was I wanted it to feel real. If The Little Mermaid actually happened, if this story actually took place, what would the characters look like? What would the landscape look like? What would the architecture look like? What would it feel like? What would the colors be? We wanted to do justice to the animated story, but we also wanted to make it our own thing. When I was doing the storyboards, the thing that was guiding me the most was the animated movie itself. Because I was thinking about what were the most iconic scenes in the film? What were the most iconic shots? What were the images people had in their heads when they thought of The Little Mermaid? And I realized that I didn't have to tell the entire story. I feel like I just had to touch upon the iconic moments and shots that people seem to remember most. In some instances, I stuck very closely with the literal translations. But there were other times when I would take ideas from the movie and a feel or an essence and I would combine it and make my own thing. Where were we going to shoot this? We had to find locations that were actually going to work for the Little Mermaid music video. Tracy has done a number of mermaid shoots, so she had a comprehensive knowledge of the really good beaches where we could shoot. Since we were going to be doing most of the scenes from The Little Mermaid, it was really important that we had all the costumes that appear in the film. The costumes all came from the mind of Tr Tracy Hines. She's just so talented, and I, I just, I went straight to her because I knew that she would be able to make my dreams become reality. So she really had a solid idea of what she wanted and we just kind of brainstormed together about the, you know the right materials and the right look and the right eras that we wanted to pull from. The sail dress was something that we just took reference from the video and tried to make it look a little more realistic like it was an actual sail that washed up on shore. I even put like a water stain as if like it had been sitting in the ocean for a while. For the tail, uh, we repurposed a tail that we used on previous shoots and what we did was Benjamin Wallace repainted the colors to be a little more aerial themed. You want to start with your darkest color, build up your colors so that when you're doing the final coats you're just catching the tops of the pattern which is called highlighting and that means that then in the cracks you have a darker blue or a black. It gives it the appearance of shadow and gives you a real three dimensional look to it. I came up with this design to kind of help marry the, her skin and the tail together. And for the shells, we talked to Ben Wallace about sculpting a new pair of shells for the video. I wanted to talk a little bit about the pink gown. Uh, it's one of my favorite things that I've ever made, but it wasn't just me making it. It was myself, Katie Mitchell, and Tracy, and our director, Raya, all coming together to make it happen in two days, I want to say. 
So one of the fun things I think about the dress is that the, the details and the trimming. Uh, so since they are a sea kingdom, there's a lot of sea elements like pearls and seashells that would be put into the dress. I love working with Jo because she really lets me, you know, have a little bit of artistic say as well, which uh, means a lot to me because I feel like there's a lot of both of us in there. The costumes were just <sighs> dream come true. <laughs> wanted a prince in the video and it didn't start out that way and I wasn't opposed to the idea but I wasn't necessarily even planning to have a prince in the video initially because it is very very hard to find people who look like that character. I sent out a casting notice all over Los Angeles and we got back about 200 submissions of nice looking actors, actors who looked kind of like Prince Eric, but they weren't quite right. I believe when they were casting for this video, they were trying to find a Prince Eric, and just by coincidence, um, Joellen and Raya uh, saw me on Facebook. And I saw a little thumbnail of Leo on the Facebook page, and I looked at him and I went, hey, that's Prince Eric, let's get that guy. And she said, he's great, bring him aboard, let's do it. And so here I am, and now I'm Prince Eric. And action whenever you can hear it. The production was uh, just a whirlwind. I want to say it wasn't even a month before we started filming it that we started brainstorming. It was, okay, we have October. Instead of us planning out shoot dates in the far future, let's go ahead and do it right now and try to get it all done. Let's go ahead and tackle it. We were a really small crew. It was basically a crew of me with the camera, Leo, and Tracy performing, and Joellen doing costuming. Katie Mitchell was such an amazing help. It was a really cohesive group. It's such a dream, like wearing that amazing mermaid tail and you know being at the beach and really feeling like a real mermaid. Can you do that one more time? Everything was great, I just moved. <laughs> I had to reach further than I expected. I was like, oh! oh. <laughs> Production and shooting on the video was actually really interesting. So at first it was tough. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make the shooting. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was, was going to be able to be in certain scenes. Gently take his head, pull it towards you, and, and move hair out of his face. Yeah, that's great. Like that sort of thing? Yeah. But in the end, I thought this was just such a cool project that I had to figure out a way. So I did. And it was, it turned out to be a ton of fun. Gorgeous, you guys. Let's talk about the breakout star of the video. Can you bark? What's really awesome about Fozzie is that he is my uh, producer Adam's dog. <laughs> oh my god, yes, yes, yes! When we decided with this video we were going to kind of recreate scenes from the movie, I knew Fozzie had to be a part of it. When I, when I first walked onto set, Tracy had already started shooting and uh, she had the dog there. And as I approached, the, the shoot where everybody was, was gathered, Max, or, or Fozzie, the dog, ran off set, I guess you could say, and, and ran towards me as if he knew that I was gonna be Prince Eric, and he jumped on me and we were playing. Probably my favorite moment, uh, and, it, and it made me feel like I'm doing the right thing right now. This is a blast. It just, uh, it made it for me. It was so great. So, yay, Fozzie! <laughs> Is there a mermaid or something? <laughs> good boy. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, he does a good job. A little slower, a little slower. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Oh, I love it. Yay. Beautiful, you guys. Dad, at the third. Looks amazing. <laughs> so once we had done our four days of shooting, everyone went away and then it was time to edit the music video and do the effects for it. 
it was about enhancing color, and at other times it was also about putting in elements that weren't really there. So these were elements that were added afterwards that couldn't have been done during production. And before the month was over, we had this amazing video. And I was blown away. I mean, Raya's uh, after effects on it were, were just stunning. I, I didn't expect those kind of colors to be so vibrant and, and just pop out of the video that way. I'm very, very happy with how everything turned out and the look of the video itself. I feel like we were able to work together to find ways to make it a reimagining and a retelling of the story in a way that I think is very beautiful and very real, while still hearkening back to the movie with images that are very familiar too. I wanted all of it to feel like it was a fairy tale that could really happen, that could actually take place. And I think we did that. It was amazing. I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud to be a part of an awesome team. And we had a lot of fun and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Oh God, it's so cheesy, I love it. <laughs> Look at the sunset.